So, how's it going guys? Shit here, back with another deck profile and today I bring you my Trap Tricks deck list. So, um, I've been playing with it for a uh, few weeks now, uh, I've been testing around it uh, a bunch and I just think this is probably the best uh, budget deck to build. Uh, this is basically uh, three structure decks and like uh, 15 euros on uh, upgrades and I think this deck works really really well. Uh, I topped um, uh, Locals uh, last time I played it, so uh, yeah, I just think it works really well. Uh, and yeah, let's get into the deck profile. So, for the main deck we have Triple Pudica, just because she gets you the Fuel Spell, it gets you an, an additional normal summon for the deck, it's really nice. And because she's just great um, interruption with the Holotia during your opponent's turn, or with Sarah. So uh, you just want to play this as much, you're gonna go through all three of them most times while uh, playing some grind matches. So uh, yeah, just no reason to play it less than three, maximize engine. Um, then we have Trimmer Melee, because it's the best normal summon, you can search to any of your traps. Most normally we'll be searching for Holotia for our combos. Uh, it just has a really good special summon effect to destroy your opponent's back row. Those two that I showed uh, right now are the best to summon off of uh, Sarah during your opponent's turn. Then Triple Mantis, because it can get you to an extender on normal summon, like uh, Kampa for example. Uh, yeah, it's just maximize engine to be able to play as much as possible. Uh, not really more to talk about the ratios. Then we have Triple Kampa to play around uh, Feather Duster, MST, all that type of thing. And just because it's also an extender for your plays on your turn, really, really nice. Want to see it as much as possible. And then we have the two Dionia. Um, because of the special summon effect to uh, recycle uh, spells or traps in your graveyard. That's a really nice set. <coughs> the main reason to play it. Normal summon effects don't come as much as, po as normal, but it can be uh, good uh, sometimes. Uh, and to round, uh, round off our monsters, we have the triple parallel exceed just because uh, you can play around the bureau with it, you just make Sarah, special summon this, special summon another for the deck, and make Rafflesia on your fifth summon. So, um, yeah, it's just insane. Uh, gets you another disruption as well, that's playing around the bureau. So, really, really nice, and that's gonna be it for our monsters. For the spells, we only play the one uh, Garden. Uh, the trap tantalizing uh, tune is not worth it to play, and we don't have access to um, how you say um, prosperity for this budget. So uh, you, it's the only spell that is worth to play. It gets you another normal summon, and you can banish a monster to special summon a trap tricks from your graveyard or hand. So that's really nice, you don't want to see it as much though. Uh, that's it for our spells. Going to our traps, we have triple Olatia for obvious reasons. Uh, you just... You just need to see this as much as possible to have place at all. The second effect is also really nice. Um, to be a disruption during your opponent's turn, you can just banish this special summon, for example, um, Pudica and get another disruption during your opponent's turn, which is really nice. Then we have two floodgates, uh, just because cash series is pretty popular at the moment. Uh, I was thinking of maximizing three, but I wanted to uh, just play the two because I had another trap that I wanted to uh, bump up a little just so I don't have uh, bad matchups against uh, other decks because you just don't want to go for Floodgate every time, it's just against Cash Tira mainly. So uh, playing too much uh, focus on the Floodgate can lose your game, so 
I decided to only play 2 and 2 for uh, Floodgate and the Trap Hole Nightmare, uh, mainly because Brenda um, doesn't care about uh, Floodgate at all, and it's just way better to get uh, Nightmare on Lovellian or Albion, which is really nice. Uh, last three are gonna be the one uh, time space to shuffle a mirror jade on summon and things like that. Uh, the one grave digger so that we can play around end traps using the um, Rafflesia and the one trap uh, terrifying nightmare just because uh, it can be useful sometimes to, uh, for example, against Randa to just disrupt destroy one monster and just banish uh, their Albion from the grave so they don't plus in the end phase, which is really nice. That's it for our traps. For our staples we are of course playing the Triple Ash. This is the best end trap at the moment. Uh, no, no reason to explain it. This is an FTK against Branded and just hurts every deck that there is in the existence of uh, the format. Then we have Triple Book of Eclipse for uh, mainly Kashtira. Uh, it's also really nice going second as a board breaker, it's good. Uh, it's mainly a board breaker going second, but it can also be good uh, going first. Uh, you just have to be careful and need to have um, OTK during next turn, otherwise uh, this is just awful. Uh, if you don't like uh, the drawing part of this card, you can just play the normal Book of Moon of, or Book of Lunar Eclipse. Uh, I just like this one um, more uh, because it just removes all most, it just puts this on all monsters your opponent controls. Um, then we have uh, that triple evenly matched. This card is insane. It comes with the structure deck. Uh, it's going to be insanely uh, cheap now. Uh, it's just so broken. It's the best card in this format. No reason to not play it at all. And it's a normal trap. So if you go first and you will see this, you can just discard it off of all at here anyways. So it's not a brick at all. And then we have Imperm. Imperm is really nice because it's just like effect veiler, but can be also used on your turn. Um, it's a normal trap, so going first, if you set it, it triggers off Sarah. Uh, it's just really, really good in this deck, and yeah, that's it for our main deck. Going into the extra deck, it's just pretty, pretty straightforward. We have triple Sarah because it's just in insane value. Uh, generates so much resources for our deck. Then we have Kularia because it's good situationally. Uh, some grind ma ma games uh, you can just win off of Kularia because uh, you can just re reuse your uh, uh, traps once and once, um, once, once and once again, you know. Uh, for example, against Cash Zero, if you have this on the field, you can just keep using every turn the same floodgate all the time, which is really nice. Uh, and we have two Oedipus for OTKs. And yeah, that's it for our links. For the Xyz, we have uh, the Triple Rafflesia to play around end traps, and it's uh, just another disruption during your opponent's turn. Uh, we have Pingicula because she can also be really nice uh, on your field. Uh, it can search you the uh, Kampa that you um, can protect your back row with. So sometimes if you uh, went first into Rafflesion instead of making a second one, we, you can just make this and get the Kampa. Uh, and the effect to suck off uh, your opponent's monsters when they uh, leave the field by card effect, it's uh, also really, really nice sometimes against most decks. And just to Alomorous for some OTKs, once again, it's just uh, really good for those. No, much reason to play more of them. And yeah, that's my extra deck. Just extra decks, um, just structure deck cards. You just, I don't think you need that much upgrade here to make it viable. Uh, going for the side deck, we play uh, six Kaijus, uh, just because um, this, this uh, format Kaijus are just so strong uh, going second. 
uh, if your uh, opponent on a uh, cash tier makes a rise art pass, this just wins. Uh, it, it's just kaijus are so good uh, this format. There's just no reason to not play. It comes from the structure deck, so no need to spend many of them. Um, I ch um, both of those these are less than twenty eight hundred attacks, so uh, you can always go over them with uh, Arapus. So there's not they're not problematic to give to your opponent either. And yeah, just six kaijus. Uh, we have triple enemy controller because Kashiro plays the Ibli lock, and you have no way to get rid of Ibli um, in this deck. You need to see the enemy controller. Uh, just there's just no other way to do it. Uh, it's really cheap. I think it's five cents, like the common one. Uh, so it's not really an expensive upgrade. Uh, the only expensive upgrade for the deck is probably the Imperm <coughs> and the how's it called the Parallax Seed. Otherwise, everything either comes with a structure deck or it's just synths. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, Cosmic Cycle into the back row decks uh, once again synths. No reason to worry about it. Uh, the one Feather Duster once again because of back row and to uh, Shade Brigadines for going first, and yeah, that's it for our um, deck profile, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, drop a like below if you did, comment if you have any questions or any suggestions for me, and subscribe to never miss any of my future videos, and yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time, peace.